So I am trying Indian cuisine. Let me roll my sleeves up because the sauce is very red. Let me grab a paper towel. looking at stains and stuff but I am trying Indian cuisine <laughs> uh, it's from Tandor it's in Cherville Indiana so I don't know what you'll be doing out there in Cherville Indiana but <laughs> if you're in the area we'll find out if you should be stopping by to try them I just have a little bit of the curry chicken and I have chicken off of the appetizer menu and some of their uh, garlic bread which I'm excited about trying I got my plate that spins oh it's spicy of course it's curry chicken it hits you in your throat Ooh. Chicken is very tender. Very, very tender. My, my daughter didn't like the bread. Next you go. I really like the bread. Are you going to say hi? I got my happy glass from Dollar Tree. I call it my happy glass because it says happiness is homemade. And I usually put my homemade mixed drinks <laughs> in my tall glasses. So I call it my happy glass. Because it holds mommy's cold happy juice. Juice the kids can't drink. Okay, I'm here for the curry. You can tell it's a tomato base. I didn't get any rice because I don't need that. I know some people need to have a rice with theirs. Or maybe, I don't know. I figured that I can use the bread to sop it up. He better not jump his butt up here. My dog is right next to me. I got some chicken too. I think I said that, but I know it's spicy. I know it's spicy. Not bad. Not as spicy as I thought it was going to be. I like the char taste on this, but it lacks flavor. Or maybe I expect it to have such flavoring because of all of the seasonings that's on it. It's very well seasoned. But um, I don't know what was I about to say? Slip my mind. I 
really good for the bread, which is an Indian thing, I, I assume. Lily, put the chair back. Stop. Hi. <laughs> so it is Friday. Huh? And I'm grateful to have made it through this week. Mommy, are you? Put the chair back, Lily. Is, is somebody recording to you? Mm -mm. Are you recording together? Oh, do I like saying hi? I don't know. Because people are going to watch the video later. And you just want to be courteous, that's all. <laughs> so like I was saying... It's Friday, and I'm on my lunch, but work is slow. This first week was something else, but we're going to get it together. <laughs> 2020 was rough, knocked us down, we learning how to walk again, <laughs> so we got to take Little steps at a time. Just just can't get back up running. And that ain't how it works. That is not how it works. I wear aligners. And for the most part, I eat just fine. But I guess when my teeth are transitioning, <clears throat> they're very sensitive. And so I guess my front bottom teeth are transitioning. And so I feel any type of pressure I put on them, even eating. And it's not painful, but it's just annoying, and I acknowledge it. So I try to avoid using my front teeth. Although, although I'm confident that applying pressure from eating won't harm them, I just feel it, and I guess my natural instinct is to not do anything that, you know, my sensory whatever, <laughs> my brain tells me not to do anything that'll cause that pressure or that feeling. I don't know. Because I avoid eating with my front teeth. I thought I told you not to play with that ball in the house. Or upstairs. I thought I told you not to play with the ball upstairs. I am, but you're not in your room. You're upstairs. <laughs> See something else. You can go in your room and play with it, sure. But anyway, I'm glad this week is over with. I almost knocked out the camera. Don't do that. A lot of people handle that mob action that took place at the Capitol. Everybody handled it differently. With the nature of business that I'm in, like, I'm really concerned about people's mental health as a whole. Because Regardless of how you look at it, maintaining a democracy is not an easy job. And this state that we're in, I think, may be a lot for some people. 
So I I encourage you that if you're feeling any kind of way that's not like yourself, to reach out to somebody. Talk to somebody. Because these are strange times. I don't care what your nationality is, what the color of your skin is, what you've been able to endure, have not been able to endure. You know, we are all human. And if you have a compassionate bone in your body, you have you have compassion for humanity. And you just don't want to see people suffer. In no way. Who cares? No, no matter what nationality they are or any of that. You know, so if you're having a hard time coping, talk to somebody. Talk to people. We are relational beings. I don't care how introvert you are. I'm somewhat of an introvert. And, um, I feel I feel overwhelmed when I'm around a lot of people. You know, it causes me to be anxious. And I don't know why. Because I love people. But too many at one time I feel pressure. <laughs> I feel anxiety. Yeah. Some room. But aside from that, Mommy, uh, we are all relational. Mommy, I'm home. I, 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 uh, what, what did I want for dinner again? She already talking about dinner. She just had lunch. I don't understand. Can we talk about it when I finish recording? Did, did I want to teach that one? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm hungry for that. I I, you hung, you stay hungry for something. She wait, couldn't wait, eat this, and she ate a quesadilla. She loved those. Things. Mommy, when the dinner recorded, can't you? Can but now she already talking about dinner. I cannot. I cannot. You can buy some bread and and then I and then make me like some cheese sandwich. And that's cheese too. She wanted a grilled cheese sandwich for dinner. We ran out of bread, so she ate quesadilla. So after I finish recording this, we're going to go to the store and get some more bread. So I can eat. Because I want some cheese salad. You're not full? No, I think we can eat. Just ate a little bit of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. I used to think I was a eater. I don't have nothing on my child. Hey, hey. Nothing at all. Oh, hey, hey. Gotcha. You know, I kind of used to be the type of parent who would hey, pick kid. me up stop. I used to think, well, for my son, it was easier. Like, I would fix him meals and he would eat the meal. My daughter is very picky. Like, she refused to eat vegetables. I absolutely refuse. What's mm. refuse in what's And I never understood that. What does refuse mean? You want to taste it? You don't like it. It's good. You like bread. But uh, she a picky eater. She'll eat quesadillas. Every day. Every day. To eat a quesadilla. Um, even if I like, get her McDonald's, she wants the toy, the apples, the apple juice, and the french fries. Never want the burger or the chicken nuggets. The dogs end up eating that. So I do I don't like the chicken nuggets and the burger, but I just don't like, like the vegetables. Not even the pickles. But she will not wait, eat vegetables. Wait, when you got me some McDonald's, you, I, 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 I wanted, I wanted a burger too, and you didn't get me that. 
she she wants a. I wanted a burger too. McDonald's. You didn't get me that. Can y'all make a happy meal for kids? That's like the four for four. Okay. The kids want a burger and chicken nuggets <laughs> in the happy meal. Well, mine does. So, if mine do, I know there's more out there. Anywho. But she likes to talk about food. She likes to eat what she likes to eat. How does this turn to a conversation about how she eat? She likes to eat what she likes and she can eat it all day long. So that tells me that she's not being she's not being um she's not being filled up when she eats. But she refused to eat a, a full meal sitting down. Like she'll eat pasta. So I can make her pasta every now and again, but if I put vegetables in it, mm -mm, not gonna happen. But she's only four, so I I figure it's a phase that she's going through. But my son right now is the same way. He only eat for he eat oatmeal for breakfast. He eat broccoli and chicken and rice for lunch, mommy, and then I he want, fixes. Mommy, I want oatmeal. Then he fixes broccoli, chicken, and um. Right to be in for dinner. Mind, now she wants some oatmeal. Okay. We still gotta go to the store because we don't have no bread. So. Still gotta go out to the store. The life of a mother. <laughs> I want oatmeal. Oh, uh, we have so much fun as parents raising oatmeal. children. But anyway, Tandor, Cherville, Indiana, Indian food. It was. Curry chicken was, I give, out on a scale of 1 to 10. Curry chicken, I give a 7. Chicken wings off the appetizer menu, I give that, a, I give them a 3. The bread, the garlic bread, I give um, a 9. Maybe a 9 and a half. But, um, so, there you go. Indian cuisine. Until next time.